Welcome back, I'm Chris Moore with HVAC Pro Blog. And this week, I wanna talk about how ventilation affects home loads. Without further ado, here's the training. All right, recently I helped scrutinize a coworker's load calculation as they were concerned with some details while making the switch from fossil fuels to completely heat pumps in a cold climate. After giving the details pages a quick pass, I identified slight issues with design temperatures, insulation factors, window shading and details, an incorrect guess on infiltration, and even low internal gain selected. This should have combined to reduce the total load by approximately one to one and a half tons on both the heat loss and cooling gains. Once, okay, it was a distributor, fix the details in question. Another reason I always recommend HVAC contractors complete their own calcs. The report returned was significantly higher than the original. It didn't take me long to identify the big change in BTUs per hour, it was ventilation. The new calculation included 400 CFM of ventilation and exhaust air for a kitchen hood, which now accounted for over 23% of the total heat loss. This is not the correct way to account for kitchen ventilation, which operates intermittently. The original calculation did not even have any ventilation, accounting for zero in both heat and cool calculations. So if you take a look at the chart, with 400 CFM of exhaust ventilation, it was 27,989 BTUs, or 23.5% of the total heat loss. It accounted for almost one ton of additional cooling gain of 11,840 BTUs and almost 23% of the heat gain. If you account for mechanical ventilation air in a home, most use the standard of 15 CFM per person. Keep in mind, this only provides a quick number and local code should be followed. Since this was a five bedroom home, we account for six people times 15 CFM per person, that's 80 CFM. As you'll see in the table I'm about to show you, instead of just bringing in the air with outside air dampers, which was just one quarter of the incorrect ventilation calc method, right, 400 CFM, incorporating an HRV, or ERV can save significant BTUs per hour that could otherwise impact your equipment and duct sizing. As you can see, if you just bring direct outdoor air into this application without running it through an HRV or ERV, it could be about 6,000 BTUs in heating or an additional 2,368 BTUs in cooling. That could be reduced to just 1,230 BTUs in heat loss and 1,600 or so in heat gain. It's a huge drop, and you're talking about going from almost 6% of the heat loss down to 1% in the heat loss using an HRV. Of course, if you incorporate an ERV, even at a modest recovery rate, you can see we can reduce the cooling gains even further because we can accommodate some of that latent capacity that would otherwise be introduced into the space from outside. So don't keep trying to hide massive amounts of BTUs per hour in your calcs or performing load calc theater on sales calls. If something looks out of the ordinary while peeking at the percentages of loads, dig deeper. As an example, what if there were significant duct loads and you were installing ductless equipment? There are no substitutions for completing a proper site survey, an aggressive load calculation, and using ACA residential design processes. This will equate to a smaller, less expensive piece of equipment, which needs less duct work, if ducts are even applicable, more comfort, and with lower utility bills. I would say the effort is well worth the time for both the HVAC contractor and the homeowner. Thanks for joining me this week at HVAC Pro Blog, where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. I'll see you soon.